Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Jody Lewis Creations. In today's video, it's here. We are starting our Sweet Pea Papers Crafty Christmas in July 24. This is hosted by Terry Lee at Sweet Pea Papers and at uh, Junk Journal Tutorials and, and more. So as you can see from this graphic, we have, um, well, this says 25 collaborators, two dropped out. So I'll, I'll, I will say that. Um, 100 plus videos. So even at 20, I already know I'll have more than four videos. The requirements were four videos. Terry's going to have a drawing in her group at Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, you can post your pictures of your Christmas projects in both of these groups, make sure you use the hashtag crafty Christmas in July 24. And then she's going to be having a drawing on August 1st for a prize. And I have to refresh my mind on what that prize is. So I will definitely get that information for you. Just not at this particular moment. But I will make myself a note. I'm brain dead, you guys, for real. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I am loving, 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 uh, all the growth from Creep on June. I am brain dead because today's the day that I finished Creep on June, filmed the final flip through. I've printed all of this for my project, decided what I'm doing. So it's just been a really long day. However, I'm on a time constraint. I have to get my project done. And I don't have a lot of time to do it because we're going to be gone for two weeks and I need to be done with this. I cannot take this on the road with me. Um, as I said in previous videos, I don't know what kind of cell phone service I'm going to have or signal I'm going to have to try to upload videos. So I want to make sure this project is finished before we leave. So we have somebody that's going to be watching the house. So I'm super grateful for that. And uh, yeah, so... Moving along, so you guys have had plenty of time to see this, know where you're going in the group, so make sure you do that. I will try to show this again, but I'm not gonna show this at the beginning of every video. I will just tell you to refer to the description box below and go from there. So I will put that in my, my little pile over here. So the, the kit that I have decided to mainly use is a kit from Natty and Moon. And it is called, I believe, Holly Jolly. And it is fantastic. So I will just do a super fast flip for the pages so you can see them. Move my coffee cup here, or my water cup. Coffee, I need coffee. Okay. So I just really felt like this kit reflected the comforts of the season and was kind of nostalgic for me with the snowman and the Santa Claus and I love the holly. I love the poinsettias. If you guys have been following me for very long at all, you know I absolutely love holly and poinsettias. So love it, love it, love it. And like look at this traditional tree. Love it. That's upside down. I think these are bookmarks. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them either. I kind of have an idea which I need to jot on it before I forget. Um, I've been trying to brainstorm and get a plan and to be perfectly honest it is really hard to switch gears between <laughs> creep on June and Christmas. I'm going, like, I'm going from creepy to Christmas. Here we go. <laughs> so some of these are just background papers that I've printed and I didn't print them on the backs of papers and there's a reason for that. Um, which I will explain to you what we're doing. I don't think I already did. This is my second time trying to film this. Again, circling back to, I'm really tired. So, okay. But I love the designs. I love, I just think it's going to really lend itself to being a mix between rustic and um, blingy. And I'm just gonna do whatever suits me in the moment. So here I have a hymnal that is falling apart. There was a piece of tape holding the spine on. I took my heat tool to it and got it off, but I kind of like how grungy that is. And I think I'm gonna use that in this project because it's pulled bits of this off, it's old, whatever. So this is a hymnal from one of the local churches. And this printing is a 
uh, looks like it's a sixth printing from 1960. And these are not the ones that I had in my Etsy shop. I did. Ha I do have these hymnals also for a local church in my, I don't think I reactivated the um, listing, but 1986, so they're vintage as well. So if you're needing a hymn, hymnal, let me know. Okay, so I like how the edges are old and, and looking and just, it's already got some of that, that aged look that we go for, right? Vintage photo. And I thought, well, how perfect for a Christmas project to use a hymnal. And so I really want to go with Comforts of Christmas and we're going to alter this book. Now these signatures are sewn in, which is perfect because that will allow me to pull pages out much easier than glued. And um, so we're going to alter the book. So it's going to be kind of a mixed media whatever I feel like, inking, painting, decoupaging, whatever I feel like, that's what we're going to do in this book. So I am going to take my tear ruler down and take scissors down and I'm going to tear all these images in half. Everything will be torn in here. But that way I'll be ready to go and start creating in the morning for you. It'll just be a few minutes, but it's going to take me a little while to do this. Um, and these bits I'm going to cut, but I'm all, I am going to leave some white border because I do know that like these need backed on something to make them more sturdy. I printed everything on 28 pound paper. I do have 32 pound paper, but I thought by the time I glue these to the pages and have pages glued together, I didn't need the 32 pound paper. I went with 28, so it's a little bit of a better quality paper um, versus just using regular co copy paper. So having said that, I'm going to go. Um, oh, wait, just kidding. I do have some bits here. I was printing out, I think these are from Nonstop Paper Crafts. She and line.arrow did a collaboration and so oh yeah these are the non-stop paper crafts these are the kits I was starting to go with and then I was looking through my files and I was like whoa 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 nope this is comfort this says use me I love it love it love it so okay I'll be back it's the next morning and you can see here we have a craft paper background this is a really big Amazon bag that um mark had gotten something in and i was like oh and he goes of course you want to keep that i'm like of course i want to keep it so i'm trying to protect my work surface here i don't want to get ink and whatever on everything else on my desk but i don't want to limit what we're playing with either and let's be real we all know i'm a mess maker and i'm wearing a junk shirt i should have put my apron on but it's over there and I've had enough hobbling around so far this morning. I did spend, it took me about an hour to get this far. And I used a combination of scissors and tear rulers to get some bits and pieces here for some base pages. Um, and again, this is the Natty and Moon Holly Jolly kit. And um, yeah, really like the images. So I'm going to set these aside. I have gathered... Um, some inks and matte mediums and some did not get paints. It's okay. I'll get paints in a minute. Um, you can, the spine's falling apart on this. We already discussed that, I think, in the first segment. And I told you that these are sewn in signatures. So what I am going to do is just kind of find the middle of the book. And that's where we're going to start is kind of in the middle and work our way out. So I don't really know exactly what this story is going to say other than we're going to be very, very into the things that we love about Christmas with this. And where is the center of this signature? It is not where I thought it was, or I just cannot find the stitching. There's a reason, and I'll explain that in just a second. Okay, well, I'm close to it, I just can't see it. I'm looking for the stitching. And I am looking for the stitching because I want to be able to pull the pages out. This is so crazy. Why can't I find the stitching? Found it. Okay. 
<clears throat> so I do want to give credit to Angie Garcia Art, her Creep on June project. I was like, oh, I haven't done that in a really long time. So I want to do something of the sorts. So now what you're seeing is I'm just going to pull these out. Careful. I'm not cutting the stitching. So I don't want to damage the stitching. So I'm just taking a few pages out up here, okay? And what I am going to do is go through and thin this book down. And then we're gonna figure out how many pages we want to do and actually I didn't need to start it in the middle but in my head I did because I wanted to kind of be even as I go forward and backward so to start with I want to make sure we have room to still work because what will happen is we will not glue the two pages together that's got the stitching in the middle because it can still come out what we're going to do is know where our stitching is then this page can get glued to this page then that's holding, okay? Whereas if we just do it here, those are gonna be able to come out. And it has been a very long time since I have played with an altered book. So there's a big, almost like a relearning curve for me. And I have more knowledge about products and behaviors, but I forget the things that I know. So it's going to be just a really big playbook is what I'm planning to do. And we are going to play, have a Christmas play, and then we are going to have pages that we can either use to make ephemera or have for other projects. And if you're newer to my channel, I love to work with music but I, because I don't have to worry about language. Um, and I love that. So a lot of times with books, I have to watch language. I don't like that. I don't like to use things that are inappropriate in my work. Well, that's not true. I love non-PC stuff for myself, not something that I share on my channel. <laughs> I love all the old ads that you would never find in today's things because it's <laughs> totally inappropriate. And um, I love them. I have a very, I have, I think my sense of humor is very fun and I enjoy my sense of humor, but not everybody else does, I can say that. So, um, yeah. So I'm just finding the center signature of each of these and I'm going to pull a few pages out of each one to see what that leaves us with. And then as we work, if we need to pull more, we can, okay? So I have taken out quite a bit, you can see here. I have my fingers in these because these have titles that work with other projects that I'm saving for, so I don't want to get those mixed in. And I could put those in my, my project bins to save them. So I have a patriotic journal and, and mermaids. and Anyway, so this is a lot of bulk taken out of the book. Because I don't want to have to worry about the full bulk of the book and altering that. And we need room to work and move. So I started taking three pages out, then I went back and took an extra page out of each of them. And you can see this is already like trying to pull away. So we are probably going to end up with some issues with the um, spine and stuff. That's okay. I'm not that worried about it. So I have some parchment paper here. So as we start gluing our bits, um, we will be able to put parchment paper between the pages. So the pages we don't want to stick together don't stick together. Okay. And um, yeah, so I will come back when I have a game plan. So if you want to kind of play along, find yourself a book and it's important that it's not glued because what happens with glued books is if we get moisture into the spine, it loosens that glue up and you run the risk of your pages falling out. So the way I learn to do an altered book is to make sure that your signatures are sewn in. Um, so yeah, but this is still a lot of pages to work with and I'm not going to worry too much as we go along. If I feel like I need to pull a fifth page out, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that because by the time we start adding our base pieces in and then our extra pages and any kind of decoupage or collage or anything like that, it's going to bulk up. And we all know I make chunky journals, so maybe I should take another page out. Um, but I just wanna be really careful with how many I'm doing. And, um, and it also weakens where it is sewn in. So probably I'll end up running a bead of glue down the 
the stitching for the signatures just to strengthen that because like this one already has a popped stitch so got to be really mindful of that and careful this was already popped i did not do that but it is something to be mindful of now moving on one thing i want I, I like these book plates i think they're really pretty we'll have to do something here because this little guy is torn and i almost did the red one because it's fully intact but i like the green one it's already falling apart so we're going with it um one thing angie did in her book that i really liked is she made a window so i'm not going to do that page as a window i may do this page you know, as a window. And what she did was she had a really pretty image. Oh, yeah. That one. So if I put that in the background. Hang on. I'll tell you where I'm going. Okay. I don't know if my idea will work. But we don't know if we don't try. Right? So practicing what I'm preaching, right? So I have this tree die and I thought well if I put a few of these together and I could make like my tree open up hopefully so what I'm going to do is get some of these cut out find some paper that's like this color and figure out what we're gonna do this is where I want to start because you know why start with something simple right I just want to share that my idea is not gonna work because this die does not work I don't think that it's got enough, the um, thingies are deep enough. I mean, it, I have used, it's, I cannot get this thing to work. Like I, last year, if you've been following me, you know, I used this die for the um, Defemora Remember with the Halloween meets Christmas. And I can't tell you how many times I had to cut pieces to try to get the trees where the, um, stuff came out of it right it tears the paper trying to get them out it just does not give a clean cut and I've run it through a few times and this is stampin up paper this is quality paper so I should not be having difficulty with getting a tree cut and you could see how many times I ran it through I flipped my plates over I did everything I could think of to get that to work so I am going to come back to this piece because I cannot let my frustration get the best of me right now. And I hope maybe you guys can give me a suggestion. Is there something I can do differently for this stinking die? Oh, it's the Lisa Jones and it's the 664467 Christmas tree card. I cannot, this thing, I'm, I'm about ready to throw it in the trash and I don't wanna throw it in the trash. It's a beautiful die or it's supposed to be, if it would work. So help me out, let me know. So we're going to, I'm still gonna use that image for our window. I just may have to do something different with the window. So I, I don't have time to sit here and fight with a piece this morning or at all, because as I've said in a previous video, I have to get this project done and filmed. So that way I honor the parameters of this collaboration. I um signed up for it before I knew we were going to go on a trip. So yeah, all that. I mean, and this is a beautiful color and it would be perfect on there, but, but okay, moving on. No more annoyance from that right now. Okay. So I'll just pin that. I'll just clip that there and know that that's, oh, that would be a cool to have like as a label for our story because that's our story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I love when I'm blabbing away and I think I'm filming and then I'm not filming. I have no idea where I was in the last segment. But I'm going to go back to the Santa page. And trying to get this open. I don't know what I did with my scissors. They're probably still in my backpack. I told my... My daughter-in-law, I said, I feel like Dora Explorer. Backpack, backpack. Because I walk around the house with a backpack attached to me. That's how I carry my stuff around. Oh my gosh, these are prettier out of the package than they were in. It's awfully crimson to have next to that. But we are going to do it, man. All right. So I want to glue this layer of napkin. Oh, 
so pretty so so pretty now these are two layer it says on the um, package that they're two layer and I'm saving for a cardinal and poinsettia book so I love I just love poinsettias I just think they're beautiful um, so I really have zero self-control when I see poinsettia napkins and poinsettia stuff out um, I just love them and I used to collect snowmen I had to stop doing that because I had so many, um, but I do love them. I just think they're so cute and fun. And not gonna lie, once in a while, I will still pick one up. Like we were up, it's been a few years back, we were up in um, Sister Bay in Wisconsin and we went in this really cute Christmas shop and there was this little snow lady and she had her little wine glass and she was wearing her pearls and I was like, well, she's going home with me. I'm not worried so much about those little bits. And um, so, yeah, I did not bring a paintbrush with me. Okay. All right. All right. So I just want to have a piece here that's going to be big enough for our page. So where is my doodad? I do. I have some water here. Sweet Mark was so good with helping me carry stuff this morning. I really appreciate it a lot. So I'm going to go along these gold dotted lines over here and we're just going to start tearing the napkin. I should have gone a little further so I could rough the edges too, but it'll be okay. Um, and this just gives me a better tear and I can kind of control more where I'm tearing that napkin. <clears throat> you can cut it, but I like the frayed edge better. Okay. I like it better. And actually, I am just going to go ahead. And this is really going to be a wet, messy project. So we're just going to have a lot of fun and um, play with the things. Like last year, I did that enormous Santa Remembered journal, which is also in my Etsy if you're interested. I love it. It was a curated collection of Santas that I found in my stash and in books and just truly a one-of-a-kind piece. Um, I really loved it. It's on my shelf right now. And um, I just, I really had such a good time making that. But you, if you follow me last year, that was like a big project. And then the year before last, I did an altered little golden book and I had used so many things in that that I had been hoarding for myself. And I made a comment about selling it and a lady from Greece bought it. So that was really cool. And it worked out well because I shipped it to her sister, sister-in-law, something like that in the US because the that relative was going over to Greece to visit. So she took it with her. So that was a lot of fun. That was a really neat, neat experience. Okay, so I'm just measuring across here. And this has almost like a, I don't know what this feeling is that I'm getting on this napkin, but it, it does not feel like a cheap two-ply napkin for sure. So, yeah. And then we have another piece to use somewhere else, which I will. I never throw those away. Okay, so I want to get a little bit of glue. I think I'll just use my matte medium for this because I've got it decanted. And we'll use this. And I don't have that was probably really loud. But remember I said I wanted to have something in between these layers because I don't want to have pages stick together that I don't want stuck together. You know what I mean? Okay. So this is going to go here. Mm -hmm. Oh, just kidding. Before I do that, we are going to glue some pages together. What? Ooh, a summer market today? Where's that? I sign up for things on Facebook, like show interest in events, and then I'm always like, where, where was that that I saw that? I don't know. 
<clears throat> this is going to make my page wrinkle because I'm using wet glue and I'm okay with that. Like I said, this is really just about playing and having fun and that's super important to me and I hope that you'll do the same. You know, I had so much creativity sparked with the Creep on June project and I thought, you know, I really, I have not had an opportunity to do anything mixed media with this on foot and um, I'm missing it a lot. I'm missing making messes and playing with paints and inks and so I am just gonna do it and hope I don't make too much of a mess for me to have to try to figure out how I'm gonna clean up by myself because Mark's out working in the RV this morning. So we're just gonna smushy that down. Mm -hmm. And see my glue seeped into that seam, which is okay with me because that's gonna help stabilize um, I don't think I meant to glue that many pages together, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. So I'll finish gluing these couple of pages together and then I'll come back. So those pages are glued together. I'm just taking some matte medium. I'm gonna go over. Now I'll tell you that um, the pages will stick to the parchment paper. So I'm trying to be mindful of that and move them when I'm finished. And I have way too much glue on this right now, but hopefully it will push through and um, it will push through, soak through, push through, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to get this down nicely. And I want this down in such a way that's going to allow us to use whatever we want on it. And I'm not worried about wrinkles. I'm not worried about it being perfect. I am just playing and getting it down on the paper. Now, obviously this is a lot of glue, so it's going to be a lot of dry time. Not every single page is going to be like this because I will never get it done if that's the case. I will be using my heat tool a lot um, to speed up the process for at least that top layer and um, to allow me to continue to work on it. So um, there probably will be bits of this that are sped up to music or I'll just come back and show you what I've done, okay? So that's going to dry and then we need to get this piece down. Where's my lid? Again, I'm trying to be mindful of this. Right, so I'm going to set the gluey one aside and get the dry one and put the dry one in there. Okay, I don't know where my wipes are, but that's okay. I'm going to have glue everywhere by the time this is said and done. I'm okay with that. Um, okay with that. Ink, I did not test my ink colors, what I wanted to use on the edges of this. I didn't know if I wanted to use brown or a green. I don't think I want to use a red. <clears throat> so let's see here. I need to get some new daubers. I need to be able to go shopping. I want to use a permanent ink because if we do come back and we use, let me see what color that is. Oh, that's a good color. If we come back and we use anything that's water-based on these, I don't necessarily want them to be reactive, water reactive. So um, I have contemplated using aged mahogany, but I don't work with green much as far as an ink, so let's just do it. And then on this page, and I still have to glue this too. I haven't done that yet, but we're gonna get this page on first so that it's relatively stable, maybe, <laughs> and uh, go from there. Where's my lid? Okay, I am really excited about this. It might be translating as chaos right now. Oh my gosh, my foot is absolutely killing me this morning. Where's my glue stick? Hmm. This is what I get for cleaning up yesterday. We're mostly dry, 
and um, I heated both. And because it's so wet, the pages are going to curl. So I try to heat from both sides. On this side, there's glue seepage on that. It's okay, it's giving us texture. You can see on this, my matte medium is not completely dry. Also okay, and we have seepage here. Okay, my napkin's hanging off the bottom here. I don't care, all right? Don't care. So it's kind of like messy hair, don't care. All right, so we have our little cutting mat here. Just my Dollar Tree cutting mat. And I've got some, ooh, no, I know what I want to use. Hmm, no, stick with the plan, stick with the plan. So this is just gonna be another layer of glue. Um, I just want to not do that. Just kidding. Where is my, here we go. Tell you guys, we're gonna have fun, fun, fun with this project. So this is just my liquid ink, liquid ink. And I'm just going to put, I have to get a better plan because this project, I'm gonna be exploding off my table in no time at all. And um, so I gotta be really mindful of that. So a little bit of water on my fan brush here. Just a little, little, little. Oh, look at that wonderful shimmer. And we need a little bit more water because that's not going to splatter. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, get some splatter on that. And I should have thought before I did that because I was going to take my paint markers and embellish those poinsettias more. Bring them up, bring them, make them more painterly for, for dimensions. So maybe we need to do that. Put that in the water for right now. That will reactivate when I get it wet. Okay. And then we need something here. And I got some splatter on this page too. And that's perfectly okay with me perfectly fine. Let's just do it on purpose. I don't want to get the digitals too wet because I do have an inkjet and it's going to run the design. So I am trying to be mindful of that and what products I'm going to use there. I'll heat tool this again. I think I will go over and get my paint markers because I think it'd be fun just to add a little bit of maybe added to that. No, I'm not gonna do that in video, but it is something I can I can take it downstairs like we're watching TV and I can add some more interest to the poinsettias. I think that would be a lot of fun. And so I wanna dry, I need to dry this really, really quickly before that damages my digital. I just did it again. I just did it again. Talking and not filming. Ugh. Okay. So what I think is going to be happening here is I think I want to um, allow this to dry a little bit more. I think I'm going to go through the problem. I wanted to go through and glue my pages together. So that way when we come on, our pages are ready. They're ready to go. But for example, like here, if I glue two together and I want to fold that down into a pocket, I don't want to have it like four pages or whatever. So, but I can glue two together, stabilize them. Have to be mindful of where, yeah, see where that is and that's fine because I'll glue this one to this one. Mm -hmm. I'll glue these together as a page. And this really matters again, because if I glue these to one another, they're gonna pull out, okay? So, where was I? I can glue that there. Glue these two together. Glue these together. I have an extra page in there, but that's okay. It's gonna be fine. So I think what we're gonna do I'm gonna get these glued together, and in the next video when I come back, we are going to work on building a couple of pockets. So that's my plan. I'm gonna just keep working on this. I am going to keep filming. So FYI, when I build, when I film multiple films, oh my gosh, already, and this is my first one. When I film multiple videos in a day, 
sometimes it's very difficult for me to keep up with what I've already told you. So I'm going to apologize in advance for that. I'm going to ask for your grace if you're like, I don't know what you said and or you already said that or are you going to say hello and welcome to my channel? So all those things know that when I fill multiples in a day, please be gracious and um, just bear with me. I have a very short window to finish this project in order to get it uploaded for you so that it airs throughout the month. Okay. Um, so thank you for joining me. I hope you like the path that I'm choosing for this project. I think it's going to be fun. I have a couple of snarky bits. I have some vintage books I want to pull images out of. So we're going to have our bases and then we're going to have to make some things to go in the pockets. I have my note here, have as a top page for the Santa window, which means I have to figure out how I'm going to incorporate this pages. So I think I'll glue these two together. Then I know that this I'm going to pin together or whatever, make a pocket out of that. Maybe I should, no, because I want, I could do that and then just tear off. And I love to tell the story, melodies of praise, and then we could be like, we're praising the season of Christmas. Hmm, I think I like that. Yeah, I think I do. I'm gonna tear that down. And I'm going to fold that over so that I know that that's my intent. It's just a brainstorming process and it really is just allowing that creative side to come out and play. It needs to play. There we go. I like it. I love to tell the story. Melody's a praise. And then this will be part of our window. Yep. Okay. Because then we'll have this, which I may just attach to that. But I kind of like knowing that that's the book that we used. So we'll just do something on here. Okay. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you. Returning subscribers, love you so much for your continued support. And I'm going to continue to ask you to like, subscribe, comment, share, and make sure if you're working on projects that you go over to Sweet Pea Papers and Junk Journal Tutorials and more and post pictures of your makes using the hashtag Crafty Christmas in July 20. Four, and that way you can be entered to win the drawing in Terry's group, which I did share a video this morning. So it is 12 prizes at the end. I want to say she said 12. There's 11 digital creators that provided kits. There's 20 collaborators participating. So 20 times four is 80 plus, but I know Terry's got a video for every single day. So she said it's like 125 videos that are going to be out this month. And um, 11 digital creators, 20 collaborators. Um, I know she said 12 or maybe 13 uh, pro uh, uh, prizes at the end for August 1st that she's going to be giving away. Um, I am not sure sure if I'm going to have a prize at the end or not. So that remains to be determined. If I have time to make something that I can provide as a prize that's Christmas related, I will certainly consider that. Um, but I'm not guaranteeing that right now. My life is just going to be insane for the next little, the whole month actually. Okay. So, uh, thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video. I really, really, really hope that you will enjoy this process and bear with me as I'm working through it. And I will be making mistakes along the way. But as you know, that as I make mistakes, I try to use them as opportunities to overcome and opportunities to share with you ways that we can overcome errors that happen when we're creating because, you know, it happens. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye.